Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. So in the last section, we have finished this about page. In this section, we are gonna create this resume page. Click on this resume. I have this blank page. I'm gonna convert this to this one. This is my final product. Let's plan the layout. So I have these two main sections. One is this education and experience at the top, and then at the bottom, I have this language and tools. So basically, I can make a grid for this top section, and then also apply the same grid for this bottom section, and then I can create an array just like the services array. and then just map over this and render a component nice we can do that so let's go back to a code editor so let's start with creating the interface for this bar what i mean by bar is the skill bar so name of the skill the level of the skill and this icon so let's do that let's create the interface first so for that i'll go to types.ts so export interface the name of the interface is i skill Okay, so every skill should have a name, a label, and an icon. Name, which should be string. The type should be string, and then label. You can make this number, but I'll go for string. It will be easier to apply the CSS. Okay, we'll see later. And then an icon. Icon, the type is icon type. Save this, and let's create the array. For that, we need to go to data dot ts. data dot ts okay just close this one let's create this new array so i'll be creating two arrays one for this languages and one for this tools just like this one one for this languages and frameworks and one for this tools so let's do this export const the name of the array is languages the type of the array is i skill should be auto imported let's see nope let's try again Look at this i skill is imported so this will be an array of i skill and then create the array okay so let's create an object name is python python and then label let's say i know python 70% or just put 70 and then an icon i will go for the same icon which is this white circle you can go for the different icons whatever you prefer but i would recommend you to go for this one icon So the icon name is BS Circle Fill. Let's see my auto import should do my job. Nope. Let's import this. So import BS whatever from React icons slash BS and the icon name is BS Circle Fill. Cool. So that's my one object. That's my one skill. And now I'm gonna copy an array. So let's copy that. Here it is. Put a comma and paste this. Cool. I just need to change this to percentage. Let me quickly change this to percentage. And eighty percent. Cool. Cool. So look at this. This is the same shape. Every object has an icon, name, and label. And let me just create a separate array for the tools, just like this one. Copy this, paste this. Cool. Look at this. This is the identical array, just like these languages. I have also exported this, and it has an icon, name, and label. Icon is the same icon, be a circle field, and everything is same. And by the way, guys, if you want to use this data, I'll put this data dot ts in the description box along with the full source code. So if anything goes wrong in your code, you can just check that out. Okay, so I have the array right. Now let's render this. So just go to resume dot tsx. Yes, this is my resume dot tsx. Oh, I need to save the data dot ts. Oh, save this, save this, save this. Go to resume dot ts. Cool. So remove this resume page. I need to create a grid. Let's make this side by side. Cool. Okay. So at the top, I'll put my education and experience. Education and experience. Comment this out, and then the languages and tools. Cool. So let's create a grid for this education and experience. So div with a class name grid, and from the medium screen, put grid columns two. So grid columns two. And just put a gap in between the grid. So gap six. Oops. Tab. That's it. I have my grid ready. Inside this grid, put a div for the education. So div h5. The text is education. Cool. Under this h5, I'll put a div which will hold the details about my education. Under this div, I'll put a h5. And the text is my college name, which is Academy of Technology. Or you know what? I should put my degree first. So this is computer science engineering. Computer. Cool. 
and after this age 5 I'll put a P which will hold my college name so Academy of Technology to 2021 cool and then put another P which will hold a little bit more details about my education so let me just copy this out aha I am currently pursuing my BTEC degree blah 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 cool okay so I have this education part here let's put some style so let's target this age 5 and put class name MY3 so margin at top and bottom 3 unit text to excel increase the text size and give some font to it so font bold that's it for this one go to the second age 5 and put class name MY2 margin at top and bottom text excel and font bold oh I can type bold okay then target this paragraph just some you know, vanilla CSS that's the beauty of Tailwind font semi bold cool target this second paragraph and add class name what margin y3 that's it save this go for the large screen nice and let me just copy this div again for the experience so from this div to this end div and put it again this is inside a grid so just change the text okay so I have changed the text and now I should see my second div here nice I just need to give some padding on this parent div go to the parent div I am not talking about the grid the ultimate parent is div p4 just give px6 and py2 and I have also noticed that I need to change the text color for the whole document so just go to global.css for a second scan flow global.css and target this body and change the color to 354358 save this it should be better okay coming back to resume.tsx close these files okay cool just close this div I am done with this education and experience and then for this languages and tools I need to create another grid similar grid of course so div with a class name grid gap of 6 from medium screen it will have a grid of columns 2 nice press tab my image should fire cool let's put a div for these languages and then I'll put a div for the tools so div under this div I'll put a h5 with some class name so my3 my image is in action text to excel font bold that's it the text is languages and frameworks nice and then after this h5 I'll put a div which will hold my bars and this div with a class name my2 cool and here I need to show my bars so I need to import my data which data languages and tools so let's see my auto import should do my job inside a curly brace languages yep languages should be imported from data yep so if your auto import does not work just manually import this so languages dot map get every element as lang or languages or language why not language and then render a component let's say bar bar let me just increase the font size cool so bar and I'll put the language as data so data the property name which is language the whole object and the key which should be unique in this case this is language dot name cool and now let's create this bar component so just go to this components folder create a component named bar dot tsx cool rafc which will give me my dummy component my boilerplate okay so let's add typescript so bar should return functional component bar functional component should be imported from react let's see yeah function component and then inside the generic let's define the types of the properties I am getting only one property which is data and this data has a type which is i skill should be imported from interface yep imported and now let's restructure this so from data this structure one level more press control and space I need all of this icon comma label comma name cool 
for now just show the name nice oh not like this in a curly brace that's it let's import this go to resume.tsx bar control and space my auto import should do my job again beautiful nope not beautiful and now yeah cool so that's it for this languages section let me just copy this div and put it again for the tools cool just need to change the text to tools and softwares this video is all about normal react and tailwind css that's it so just replace these languages to tools should be imported yep imported and then this is language just change this to tool which is not needed but again just for a better code readability tool to tool tool and it is also tool i could have used multi cursor but it's okay fine tool dot name let's see nice i have this beautiful grid and let's design this bar so let's make this side by side cool just go to bar dot tsx okay cool let's now see how to design this go to this final product it's a little tricky okay look at this i have this two div one is this background and one shows this label and under the second div i have this icon and the name so let's do that just remove this name and put another div with a class name px4 and py1 padding on top and bottom this div is for the label so just add flex make this flex container item center so my icon and the text will be in centered vertically it should be rounded so rounded full which is just border radius 50% and then just add background gradient so bg gradient to r and the color is from green to blue from my cute green and again guys if anything goes wrong in your tailwind css you can just check that out to what blue 400 or 600 go for the 600 and press tab uh huh just decrease the font size cool and then under this div i need to show my icon and the name my skill name so under this div, let's put the icon and just add a class name margin r3. I could have used space x3, but that's okay. And then my name inside a curly brace. Oh cool. Save this. Let's see. I have not designed my background div yet, but let's see. Go to this localhost 3000. Aha, uh -huh, we are getting the design. Let's go to this parent div, which is my background div, and add class name. First of all, text white, and then margin y2, and of course, the bg gray 300, and round it full. Save this. Oh ho, look at this. And now I just need to adjust the width. For that, I'll be using an inline CSS. So, target this inner div and put style style this is really simple i just need to vary this width so width which is label save this i should see aha beautiful is it end i don't know let's see and guys if i need to refactor anything i will do that in the last video of this project yeah it looks nice let's go to this final product or in dark mode this is just just beautiful so you know what in the next video i'm gonna do the dark mode okay so that's it for this video and guys please hit the like button please that's the only source of motivation so see you in the next video bye